All right, let me try and get a good weld here. Hopefully my ground is clean enough. It's clamped together pretty well, but it's not really too stationary, so. So I start in the end, I'm gonna start back a little bit, which is a little more sturdy, and then move my way up the hill here. too bad it's still glowing so now I got some pretty good penetration there turn my welder off give that a second to let that kind of cool down before I chip off the slag and show you what I'm using here flip this around all right so there's the weld there ground over here. I don't know how well you can see that. I think it turned out pretty nice. Can't really see the waves or anything on it but that's because the slag's still on it. I'm gonna chip that off right now. I'm using three thirty seconds diameter electrodes here. Uh, the size is E 6011's from uh, good old Harbor Freight Specials. Two pounds of them, pretty cheap. And I'm using a Miller 225V Thunderbolt. This is an old school welder right here. And uh, what I've learned here is from the welding chart, uh, the thickness of the metal I'm using, I should be running about on the 330 seconds here between, I guess, 40 and about 75 amps. So right now, you can see right here I'm on the, uh, the 3150 side. The marker's right here, and that's about 60, maybe 62, 65 amps, and that looks like it's going to work pretty darn good. So I love my old welder. I got it from my neighbor's grandfather, uh, my neighbor's dad, <clears throat> old timer by the name of Jack, really nice, good guy. So he hooked me up on that deal here, and I'm going to chip this slag off here. Sorry about all that noise. That's pretty amazing. Uh, all my other welds I've done so far, I've done them much hotter. There's a ton of slag here left on top. And uh, now that I've adjusted my welder to the right heat, you can see the penetration right there in the color. I got a little more towards the right than I did in the left. But uh, great penetration. The weld looks good and uniform, except for that little spot right there. But um, all in all, it worked great. So Harbor Freight electrodes, electrodes, excuse me, work great. This is the E6011 in the two-pound pack, really good deal. And uh, it's on an old Arc welder, an old Miller Thunderbolt. So if you have any questions or any comments from our welding abilities here, uh, please post a comment. I'd appreciate the help.